Hey, Diane. Holiday shopping? All done. Everyone's getting the new iPhone 15 from T-Mobile, and T-Mobile's covering the cost. Plus, I got four lines for $25 a line per month. I got to get to T-Mobile. Get four iPhone 15s on us with eligible trade-in when you switch to T-Mobile. <laughs> Minimum of four lines for $25 per line per month with auto pay discount using debit or bank account. $5 more per line without auto pay, plus taxes and fees. Phone fee 24 monthly bill credits for well-qualified customers. Contact us before canceling account to continue bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. $35 per line connection charge applies. See In 1963, America's Georgia, 15 black girls joined a protest. One for the matinee, please. Negroes, get your tickets. In the back. We just want tickets to see the show. Here comes a whole mess of tickets for each and every one of oh, you. No, 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 no. Based on a true story, Push Black presents The Stolen Girls of Americus. Listen and follow on the Odyssey app or wherever you find your podcast. The 20 year old mother woke up in a daze, neck sore, shocked. She saw her husband beside her, dying. Shockingly, she would not only get sent to prison for her husband's murder, but end up battling her entire country. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. On July 9th, the year 2000, 20-year-old Susan Kigula woke up to sharp neck pain. Her husband was bleeding out. Two burglars fled into the night. Three days later, Kigula was accused of murder and later sentenced to death by hanging, but she refused to go down without a fight. Kigula became the face of a case against Uganda to amend its law. In 2009, its Supreme Court decided that the death penalty was no longer mandatory for those found guilty of murder. Further, after someone spends three years on death row, their sentence converts to 20 years. Kigula was released in 2016, and hundreds of others were retroactively released. Today, Kigula continues to advocate for prison abolition and incarcerated women's rights. And as of 2022, 144 countries have abolished the death penalty. Unfortunately, the United States hasn't followed suit. Criminal legal systems worldwide claim to rehabilitate and keep us safe, but still have death penalties. This means something seriously wrong, but it also means this. There are black people all around the world who can come together to dismantle it. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please rate and subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's celebrate and honor the legacy of Black history.